Rock and Mario facing off against Daybreak's Wolf, starting things off on, of course, Pokemon Stadium 2. Everyone's favorite stage. I'm always surprised when people like know to Pokemon Stadium 2. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. But Daybreak can get the first grab into the fair. You know, for a Wolf Ditto that we saw that was very passive, I'm very happy to see a very much more aggressive Wolf here. Nice parry. Ooh, I like the Nair too. Oh, all right. Okay, Daybreak. So this is a very special treat for us in Tri-State because when it comes to a lot of Wolf players, we have a lot of talented players who play Wolf. Wolf is just a, a part of their kit. Whereas Daybreak is not only a talented player, but also dedicated to Wolf himself. He studies a lot of the more character-specific things, is very aware of like the minute details of his tools. And because of that, he has a better idea of how he's able to extend his combo trees. So I'm expecting a lot of cute chains from Daybreak, but also him having a good idea of like when to re really force in on his opponent and then when to peel. All right, for sure. KV and kind of struggling to get back. Gonna get the back throw here. We still, we'll see what we can get off. Goes for the flood. Doesn't get the cape though. Daybreak and a jump over, which I really like. KB really gonna have to watch how he recovers. I feel like a lot of times with Wolf, you can really catch them with up air, back air. Definitely. But I, I like that KB has not gotten too hasty at the ledge. Opting just for flood is really just like keeping things at a static. But I feel like if he reacts more to Daybreak's more aggressive recoveries, we can see him pop off a little bit here because he hasn't been doing a bad job of putting the damage on. But Daybreak takes the first stock, and that's what really matters. And I just really like how Daybreak kind of knows his combos and knows when, you know, it's just not going to work. You know, one hit always translates to two. It's never just like these stray stale hits. Nice Nair. Ooh, I love jumping over the fireball into the back air. Ooh, gets the That's Nair. what I'm trying to see. Drop zone Nair is that good stuff. That good stuff. It's so it's so easy because like Wolf, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of recovery options, but when no one's edge guarding you, recovering directly up with upbeat isn't the most difficult thing to do. So you know you can afford to go out there, go for a Nair, maybe even get a read where the back air, get a risky early stock. Like these are things that you can do with a character, you just have to be confident. And seeing that confidence come out through Daybreak's play has been a pleasure so far. And I really do like how Daybreak uses... Ooh, okay, that was kind of cute. The down throw into the... Into the... Or the down air into the, the spike. Sorry, I'm having water pass to me, and I'm very excited about it. The, so <laughs> it's not even just that the down air is set up for a situation. It's the fact that Kavin was prepared for the air dodge, catching it with the forward smash. Right. Like, that's what I like. You see that even though, like, Daybreak is, like, really staying on top of him in game one, Kavian is not getting too tilted from it. But that is game one. That is Daybreak's favorite. Pretty handed. Like, You're good, but I am better. I just really liked, I really, I just like Daybreak's wolf. I mean, the conversion. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> it's a good boy. The conversions off any of his hits were just, you know, solid and fluid. You know, we see really good wolves like Ralphie around here, you know, that can really just take the character's combos and just go with it. But I really don't think Kavin did terribly. No, he didn't. I feel he was really just like, I feel like what put Daybreak ahead of Kavin in game one is what puts Wolf ahead of a lot of the characters in the cast. And that's the fact that the singular hit that got things started for Daybreak mattered much more than the singular hit that got things started for KV. Right. Where Wolf is able to get so much out of the small strings he gets, Mario has to work a little bit harder because his end game requires a lot more of reading the positioning or movement of your opponent. Like the one really good stock we saw out of him was a good read. Right. But that's something that you have to work for. Taking off the construction outfit, back into the classic overalls. Game two's taking us over to Smashville. And I don't know if this was the best of choices. I was about to talk to you about that. You know, Smashville is a great stage for a lot of characters, but when you counterpick, you have to pick what you're comfortable on, but also realize, like, what character are you fighting against? You know, if you're playing a floaty, you don't want to take another floaty to a giant stage. You want to be able to kill early. But KV starting out a little bit strong as well, coming in with the tornadoes. Like Mario has a solid combo game here, and he's also admittedly able to edge guard really well on Smashville. But Wolf is also able to kill very early. He has no difficulty mixing up his recovery because of the presence of the platform. So I'm hoping that Kavian has like a strict plan as to how he wants to control this stage. Right. And the fact that he's been hovering around that platform is what I'm liking so far. He's not committing too hard to controlling the ledge directly because he's being in position to cover wherever Daybreak wants to be. Ooh, he's gonna ask D. 
Daybreak sitting at 99. Not too hard of a stock to get off right now, but you hate to SD during a set. I feel like Kavian could have even came back from that too. Directional, oh, air dodge, so up B. Mario also stalling with the cape. You got options. There's no reason to give up, especially when like game two started fairly close. Like Kavian came out the gate running. Kind of seeing the sticky neutral again. Daybreak, I, I just love, Daybreak is so smart. You know, he's just like, you know what? Like I could throw out a ton of moves or I can wait till I know all of my moves are gonna hit and just throw them out. And, and I mean, he's almost lapped Kavian in the stock. Like that's the beauty of Wolf as a character when you take away the fact that he kills. Ooh, that fireball gives. Nice job, KB. See, like this is why I'm also. Like, I feel like both of these players just have a very good understanding of their characters. Because KB, he hasn't been pressing too hard with Mario. I feel like he could be getting a little bit more aggressive, making a bit smarter approaches, as running into an up smash not the greatest place. But. He's been really good with how he's using Flood. He's been using Fireball very sparsely, but every time he's gotten it, he's either gotten a combo or he's gotten a stock from it. Right. He's not trying to go out with Haymaker smash attacks. And his combo game's not bad. The right. down air tech chases we've seen throughout games one and two are proving to be a bit of a nuisance for Daybreak. Right, for sure. And I just think that um, KB is just struggling to like get in a lot of the times. Like he'll get his combo, but he won't like follow through with it all the way to the end. Like, he's not a bad player, it's just Daybreak has successfully reset the situation and then just was like, all right, it's my game now. But KB and Ghana getting him off stage. Nice jump read with the back air. Got to build up the percentage though, really make it count. Right. I mean, Daybreak's almost laughed him. Needs the to stop. KB keeps on trying to take this battle to the air, but he's not prepared to deal with Wolfman. Right. And it's, Wolfner is one of those options you just have to force out and then whiff punish. And we're just not seeing any of that yet. I feel like that's the real key for KV fighting against Wolf. But let's, here's Daybreak the hoping too, too late. Yeah, Daybreak is completely content now, just kind of, you know, shooting his gun, like, all right, cool. Why is he gonna rush? Yeah, right. He's lower in percentage, he's got a whole stock. Like, he can wait. Ooh, nice spot dodge by Kavian, and he'll, the down smash will take it. I mean, we're at last stock here. Not impossible, but... Definitely a grim story. Right. And you you know, when it comes to these things, you always wonder, like, oh man, if he didn't SD, what would this game have looked like? But that's going to be a 2-0 for Daybreak. Game 2 looking kind of close, though. I'm going to just say it. Kavian woke himself up. I liked it. But I feel like we don't see a lot of Mario's, at least here in New York as much anymore, so like... There's a ton in PA. If you want oh, you Mario, can go ahead. You can keep Listen, that's, I'm not even true. from PA, bro. Speaking well, of PA... I don't... How did, this, how did this happen? King Kamina versus Lee. How did I, that... Who, who let that happen? Okay, 